What's going on guys this is dan french i'm walking through the valet here at tivoli village in las vegas right across the street from rampart casino and uh really nice shops here we're going to check that out we're going to talk with some friends here uh meeting somebody for lunch and uh, i'm also going to talk a little bit about mortgage insurance and the difference between mortgage insurance so we're going to wrap all this up in one video wanted just to give you guys a quick video of tivoli village also give you guys some insight on hazard insurance what to expect and also just kind of show you around here. You know, it's pretty nice here. Uh, like I said, I'm meeting some friends here and uh, we're probably gonna have some lunch. And then I'm probably heading out and uh, going home and getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully everybody had a good break from, uh, you know, Christmas vacation and a lot of kids are going back to school tomorrow. So definitely looking forward to getting uh, 2020 on board and hopefully we're gonna crush it this year with my team, so. Behind me you have a, uh, really it's a full diagram of the Tivoli Village and how they put that together. But, you know, I wanted to come out here just to kind of take a look at it. it. It does remind me a little bit of Lake Las Vegas. Has a little bit more elegancy to it, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of, lot more shops. And uh, it seems like a lot more people that are just, you know, it's definitely money. It's a money area here. And, um, I would definitely highly recommend taking a look at that if you're just just if you're visiting from another state or if you're just you know you're here in Vegas now and you didn't know about it I mean I don't know some people don't know about it it is somewhat of a it's not secluded but it's a little bit further out from the strip and so it's definitely something that you know there's things here in Vegas that I don't I've never even experienced because Vegas is growing so rapidly you didn't even know about something that that maybe was put up <laughs> so um, you know, maybe some be, somebody here that's living here might not know about it, might check it out. Mortgage insurance altogether, and it does eliminate mortgage insurance for the investor, but it doesn't eliminate hazard insurance or home insurance. So you have the ability to shop that. So it's really important for you as a consumer to understand that you should be the one shopping for your hazard insurance. It should not be up to the mortgage company. A lot of mortgage companies do play a role in this. And the first thing they ask is, Dan, I haven't thought about this. Do you have somebody that you can send me to? And of course I have somebody I can send you to, but at the same time, to alleviate all problems, you as a consumer should shop for hazard insurance on your own. That way you can choose the best rate. It does have a direct impact on your mortgage payment. So this is something you should highly consider before getting into a contract. Now, a lot of people don't start that process until they get into contract, and that's fine. But if you're really somebody out there that wants to be detailed and really understand what they're getting into, if you already know how much of a payment you're willing to pay or how much of a house you're willing to uh, make an offer on, then you should have the ability to find the right hazard insurance. Again, a lot of people team it up with their uh, you know, their car insurance or some other insurance that they currently have and it does give them a discount, but that's a good place to start. Now you know as a consumer out there how important it is to shop for hazard insurance. I'm gonna tell you the minimum requirements that an investor is gonna need, including what other options you might have when you get into home insurance and what it would cover. So the first question, so the first question I usually get is what is the minimum coverage? And every investor is gonna want you to cover 100% of the loan amount. So let me give you an example of this. If I'm buying a home for 350,000 and I'm putting $50,000 down, I would need at least 300,000 or 100% coverage of 300,000 for the loan amount. That would be what your loan amount is. So that's usually what it is. It's 100% of the loan amount per investor. 
So getting home, home insurance or hazard insurance, you do have an option to get extended coverage. Usually that's 50% above the value of your home or the market value of your home. So for instance, if your house is valued at 100,000, uh, the insurance company would contribute up to 150,000 towards repairs on your property. So in addition to the extended coverage, uh, we also need to look at what about personal belongings? And also, what about if something happens to the roof? And who pays for that? And that's also something that you can put into your full package, getting home insurance. Um, this is something important. You know, you see a lot of people with problems that potentially they had uh, gotten hurt. Maybe they got hurt on your property or something happened where there was a medical issue on your property. Who covers that? And uh, so this is all insurance uh, options really that you can put on your property. And uh, I think everybody should be considering all of these, inf all this information because it protects you as a consumer and a homeowner and uh, you know shopping for this is very important because determining what company you use and what coverages you have you obviously have to meet the minimum requirements but it's still something to consider what is involved like i've said a lot of people bundle this up with their car insurance and they really get a good discount on this you know there's a lot of things to consider as we talked about extended coverage you talk about um, really what if something happens to the roof uh, really, what is the minimum requirement for getting uh, insurance altogether? And what does the investor want? And we talked about how it's 100% of whatever the loan amount is. You know, there's other coverages as well, you know, $5,000 towards water damage. Um, there's other things where converted garage, things like that, that potentially will cover you and, you know, really help you out as a consumer. So the real thing here is that you have to look at what is gonna be the total package for you? Are you meeting the minimum requirements? And also, what is that con contribution towards your minimum uh, monthly payment? Because you have to look at the fact that you have, if you're putting less than 20% down, you still have hazard insurance, and there's a misconception that putting 20% down removes mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance is really there for the investor, and it protects the investor until you have enough equity in your home. And so hazard insurance will be there for as long as you have the house, even if you pay the house off. Hazard insurance is still gonna be there. And it's your job as a consumer to shop for the right uh, you know, insurance company and pick the right package that is good for you and your family. So stay tuned to the next video. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Also, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel, Loan to Keys. I'm here to put out information regarding uh, just all that different types of information regarding home financing, also what's going on with the news in Las Vegas, and I'm here to help you guys out find the right home. We'll talk to you at the next video.